What's up my dudes, it's Ozifer and today we'll be opening the Costco exclusive 5 pack mini tins. Now the edition we have today is the Galler Pals edition. Costco does have 3 different types in store. They have, like I said, the Galler, Galler Pals which we're opening today and inside those tins you can find Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars packs. Uh, the uh, other two versions I'll have up on our screen here uh, is one is Galar Power, which contains Evolving Skies and Fusion Strikes, and the last edition is called Sinnoh Stars, and that contains Astral Radiance and Brilliant Stars. So for ours, like I said, is the Galar Pals edition. So you can see here, you'll know why these are called Galar Pals, because here we have the Galarian Ponyta, the Grookey, the Score Bunny, the Sobble, and the Amper. Uh, in addition to each tin, which contains two packs and a coin, uh, we have the promo cards, which we're just going to slightly take a peek at here, but we'll take a look closer in a second. We have the Cinder Ace, the Inteleon, the Dialga, and the Rillaboom. So let's open this up. Here's the Cinder Ace, hollow, followed by the Inteleon right here. And then we have Rillaboom to round off the starters. I cannot get the card. There it is. Rillaboom was my first starter when I was playing Sword and Shield. Uh, well, Grookey. And then one of these is not like the others, and that is Dialga. For some reason, we threw Dialga in here. I don't know why, but there they are. And then here's the tins up close. So here's the first tin where you have the Ponyta, Galarian. And like I said, they're a lot larger than I expected. Like here's my hand and it's the size of my hand. Uh, another thing to note is at the bottom of these tins, you can see a little code here, C22. I don't know what that means, but um, if you have the same code as me here, the packs inside the tins will be the same as the packs that I mentioned at the start of the video. Um, if your mini tins have a different code on it, sadly the packs inside will be different as well. So once you peel the plastic off, this is what it looks like. Oh. Oh. Comes right off into two pieces. We have a score buddy coin. I was under the impression that all of these have the same coin, so we'll see if all the other tins also have a score buddy coin in them. But here are our packs. They are quite in there. Oh, also inside is a little picture. That's nice. Oh, it's of the Pokemon. So there's the Amper, there's the art on the tin, and there's some uh, some facts on the back. That's nice. I did not know that was in there. But And like I said, we have Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars. So we'll put those off to the side for now, and let's open up the rest of the tins. Next up is Sobble. So let's find out if they all contain the same coin on the inside, and it's a Score Bunny coin. So yes, I'm willing to bet it's a little dirty too. All the tins contain the same coin. Um, they definitely contain the same packs, Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars. So the only thing that differs is the art on the inside. So here's the Score Bunny art and Score Bunny's lore on the back. Oh, did I say Score Bunny? My bad. <laughs> I meant Sobble. Definitely a Sobble. So now is Score Bunny. Same coin on the inside. Same packs on the inside. Here's Score Bunny's art and Score Bunny's lore. Next up, we have Garuki. This one has the Charizard art. Maybe there's a Charizard in there. So here's the Garuki and Garuki's lore. So finally, we have the Galarian Ponyta cotton candy right here. Okay, so let's get that Score Bunny coin out of there. And I have five Score Bunny coins. I'm gonna add that to my giveaway box for, you know, the one day I'll do my giveaway. Uh, and here is the last art and the Galarian Ponyta lore. So let's quickly put these pictures together and see what kind of bigger art it makes. I'm not really good at puzzles, <laughs> but...
Okay, so the bigger picture it makes is just all, it's just a big line. Um, right here. Now let's go open up these packs and see what's inside. We're gonna start off with the five brilliant stars and then head into the five evolving skies. With our first brilliant stars pack, will we have first pack luck? Let's find out. Opened up nice and easy. That's what we like to see. Black code card to start. That's what we like to see. Okay, four cards to the front. And we got the Steel Energy into the Luxio, Gloria, Roseanne Backup. Oh man, that has a lot of words on it. Piplup, Shroomish, Purloin, Duskull, Sneasel, Lapras, Reverse Hollow Lapras, and first pack luck. Oh, a Hollow Torterra. Okay, at least it's not a regular rare. We did start off with a Hollow. All right, second pack, another Charizard art. Let's hope these Charizard arts are good to us because we are out here to collect some Charizards. Second pack, white code card. One, two, three, four, to the front. We have the Dark Energy into the Dark Weevil. Dusclops, Morgrim, oh, Snow Runt. Clink, I have way too many clinks. Dedany, Cub Chew, Duskull, Clang, Reverse Hollow Clang, by the way, and regular rare Leopard. So, so far, these Costco packs, from my experience, don't have the best pull rates. This is the second product I'm opening from Costco. I know we're only two packs in, but I'm a little bit biased. I did not have any good luck the last time I opened a four pack tin from like the regular size tins from Costco. So I'm really hoping that turns around with these mini tins. Uh, so far, I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. White code card. Starting off with the Fighting Energy. Into the Clang, Cynthia's Ambition, Torkoal, Minchino, Carablast, Buizel, Halucha, Throw. Oh, the reverse hollow Roseanne's back up. Okay. And a regular rare star raptor. All right. So speaking of Halucha, off stream, I did open a radiant, or I did pull a radiant Halucha. And I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really sleeve my radiant cards. I probably should, because I have quite a few. Um. But I mean, they're still well protected in the place I keep them in. So here we go. Second to last pack for Brilliant Stars. We have the Steel Energy, the Pot Helmet, Praise, uh, Executor, Friends in Galar. Oh my goodness. This is my first Friends in Galar. There's a full art version of this card. Oh my goodness. That would have been cool to pull. Cast Form, Chimchar, Baltoy, Axew, Nosepass. Reverse Hollow Professor's Research, we like those. Very meta card, and it's Reverse Hollow. And a regular rare Clefable. Okay, Brilliant Stars is not treating us very nice. However, we do have one pack left, and it is the Charizard art. This is the third Charizard pack we'll be opening out of the five. Third time's a charm. That's what they say in the business. It does have a black code card. So one, two, three, four, to the front. Water energy, oh my goodness, I saw a hit. I saw it in the back, you guys. <laughs> we got the cleansing gloves. We got the float soul, sigil lift, magmar, riolu, nice. Burmy, star you, the toy version star you, look at that. Carablast, Reverse Hollow Magmortar. Oh, look at that. With the Electivire, Electrive, I forget his name, but that's a nice art. And our first hit, Pikachu V, let's go. Look at that, a full art Pikachu V. That's what I like to see. Let's sleeve this bad boy. So five packs in with a brilliant stars and we get one hit. 
Let's hope we have much better luck with the last five packs in the brilliant, sorry, in the Evolving Skies. So first pack of Evolving Skies, here we go. Oh uh, yeah, that one opened real nice. White code card. First thing in the Evolving Skies pack is the Psychic Energy, Rubber Gloves, Floet, Boost Shake, Woobat, Bagon, Scraggy, Drowsy, Burgemite, Full Face Guard, Reverse Hollow, and a Wishy Washy. Look at that. Rapid Strike Wishy Washy for those Rapid Strike decks out there. I am moving pretty quick through these. I'm start uh, like I'm almost missing these reverse hollows just because I'm so eager to get something good out of these Costco packs. I'm still a non-believer for Costco, and I really want my mind to be changed tonight. Black code card. Okay, maybe they're listening. One, two, three, four. Fire energy. Okay. Gold duck. Nice. Rubber gloves again. Copycat, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, Phoebus, Hitmonchan, ooh, the Reverse Hollow Rayhan, and a Reggie, oh, a Hollow Salamance, okay. I don't mind me my Hollow Dragon type Pokemon. At least it's not a regular rare. I like that. That's two packs in. Will the Evolving Skies at least beat out Brilliant Stars? Let's see. This is our third pack. If we get at least two hits out of here, Evolving Skies takes a dub. We got the Leaf Energy, the Flaffy, the Pyroar, Ursa Ring, another Pikachu, C Dot, Lily Pup, Bagon, but Leo, the Reverse Hollow Shift Tree, and. <laughs> Oh my god! An Umbreon VMAX secret rare! Let's go! Look at that! Dude! You guys, this is worth 30 bucks. You guys know what that means, right? That means our Superior V from last video is already getting replaced. This card didn't even last one video. This was a $15 card getting replaced with the 13, or sorry, the $30 Umbreon VMAX Secret Rare. The Umbreon VMAX Secret Rare taking that number one spot from Superior as our most expensive card. That was our third pack into Evolving Skies. We've got two left. I would say Evolving Skies already beat Brilliant Stars, but let's see if we can make this a bigger lead with the second to last pack. Continuing the black code card trend, that's what we love to see. And what do we have here? We got the Psychic Energy into the Palpitoad, Crustle, Moon and Sun Badge, my first one, Dweeble, Carvana, Flabebe, Slackoth, Dot, Ooh, Reverse Hollow Rescue Carrier, and oh, a Hollow Entei. Let's go. Last pack of Evolving Skies and out of all the packs in general from this five pack Costco exclusive. We're ending it off with a white coat card. You hate to see it, but it's not the end of the world. Dark Energy, Nuzleaf, Gold Duck, Rubber Gloves again, Phoebus, Hitmonchan, Slackoth, Petty Lil, Pikachu, the Reverse Hollow Fletchling, and the regular rare Flapple. Flapple is such a weird Pokemon. Okay, but there it is. So to round it off, here's the recap. We did replace a Superior V. We got one hit from Brilliant Stars, the Pikachu V, and then one hit from the Evolving Skies, the best hit to date on stream on YouTube, the Umbreon VMAX Secret Rare. So let me know down in the comments Will you be buying any of the variations of these Costco tins? Hopefully you have better luck than I do. I mean, I did pull a $30 Umbreon. If you did already get one of these, were you more lucky than me? What did you pull? Let me know down in the comments below. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Last thing before you guys go, 
my brother did start his YouTube career as well and his first video was released the other day. I'll have it up on the screen if I figure it out. If not, it'll be down in the description below. So please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my little brother's video. He opens up a Japanese V-Star Universe pack, booster box, sorry. And I don't want to give any spoilers, but it was quite the firebox. So I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.